Hi everyone, I am going to show you how to bring chat GPT inside business central. So this is what we are going to do. So if you ask any question in chat GPT inside your business central, so it will give you the answer. So why you should do this? See, if you wanted to write in a documentation, if you wanted to find the guidelines, if you wanted to create something, uh, if you want to generate some text inside your business central, so this is possible. This is the first level of um, learning how to bring chat gpt inside your business central so we will explore more in the future videos okay so now i'm going to tell you what are the steps which i have followed so the very first one is what you have to create an account in openai.com so here you have an option this is the link so if you click on this open ai so it will ask you to log in if you are new to this then you have to sign up okay if you already have an account you can simply log in so sign up you will uh, you will get this page okay once if you sign up you will get a, a overview page so if you go and click on this right side personal you can see view apis okay click on view api so it will take you to this screen uh, if you click on this create new secret key okay if you click on this create new secret key it will create a new secret key for you just copy the secret key and paste it inside and have it in your notepad okay as of now i hope you understand the very first step which is very very essential create a login or sign up in open api create a api key and keep it we yeah, are keep it with you okay this is the very first step once your api is ready then go to this api playground you have an option here can you see this this is open api this is a playground so once if you select open api playground it will re redirect you to this page so this is what the playground so what you can see is what from this playground you have to get what is the model what is the prompt what is the temperature what is the max token what is top p what is the frequency penalty and what is the presence penalty don't worry i will tell you what are these parameters these are all uh, essential parameters in order to do that uh, so let me tell you so once if you open the um, <clears throat> playground okay so it will be empty okay basically it will be like this fine so uh, on the top you can see that you have various options like if you want to find the grammatical standard english uh, if you want to uh, uh, if you want chat gpt to help you in understanding the grammar then you can click here text to command q and a so what you want okay so you can simply select it as of now i just wanted to chat with chat gpt so i am clicking here chat okay okay so i'm clicking here chat so once if you click here it will show you this so you can ask any questions so what is business central so this is just to tell whether a open api is working with you like open Ch chat gpt is working so i'm just typing what is business central so once if you type this and click submit ai will generate something to you okay and uh, here you can find whether it is really working for you okay it's working then once if you done with all these things on the right side you can see various options right so this is the important thing which we need so the first one is what the model okay so what do you mean by a model so model refers to the specific version of the chat gpt3 language that we want to use okay so model is the specific version so for example if you just go and click here in the model you can see various models right text query text babbage so if you just click on the any models it will just explain you what is it okay what it is capable of or what is the strength so just hover over any model it will tell you what about about completely about it okay you can use any model but the exact model you wanted to give it in your code okay we will see but you should be familiar with these uh, these um, variables or these parameters we will call as parameters in our machine learning so model so you can select the model here okay the first one is what the model what about the second one which is the temperature okay so the temperature is a parameter which controls the randomness of the output generated by the Ch Ch gpt3 model so a higher temperature value will result in more creative and unpredictable predictable responses while a lower temperature value will result in more conservative and predictable responses so how your temperature should be is what it should be between 0 to 1 
okay so you can either specify 0 0.61 0 0.21 or 1 anything is fine okay so you can just uh, adjust it accordingly and you have a maximum length okay how many like uh, a token so here they are talking about uh, the tokens okay how many length of the words you will be asking so this particular maximum thing is what the 150 okay so you can adjust it and you cannot go more than 4000 as of now because we are using a free version okay so this is what the next one so and other than this we have an option here right so you can see here you have top p okay so top p presence penalty and uh, best of will be zero to one okay zero to one so what is this top p is a parameter which controls the diversity of the uh, output generated by the chat gpt okay it specifies a, the probability threshold for selecting the next word in the generated text the higher top e value will result in more uh, diverse responses the next one is the top e top e is a parameter that controls the diversity of the output generated by gpt3 model so it specifies the probability threshold Prob the probability threshold will be between 0 to 1 right so for selecting the next word this used to um, specify the probability threshold for selecting the next word in the generated text the higher top b value will result in more a diverse response while a lower top p value will result in more conservative response okay and frequency penalty means what a parameter that encourages the gpt3 model to avoid repeating the same words okay and or phrases multiple times in the generator text it applies a penalty to the model's probability distribution for generating words that have already been used in the response and the presence penalty is what uh, is a parameter which encourages the gpt3 model to include specific keywords or phrases in the generated text so it applies the penalty to the model's probability distribution for generating words that do not appear in the prompt or a list of provided keywords okay so these are all the important thing which we know we should know the first one is what model the second one is the temperature maximum length is the third one fourth is the top p fifth one is the frequency penalty sixth one is the presence penalty okay and <clears throat> if you wanted to know about all these things so you can just simply click here view code you can see you know this is the view code so you can simply click here view code here if you click on this view code it will help you in uh, understanding the code here so don't worry about all these 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 are all related to python okay if you wanted to see in a different uh, uh, see different language so you can select it i'm just going to i'm not going to use any of these language i just need the model this prompt okay probably if you want this or is no need this temperature and this is what the maximum token top n and frequency penalty and the presence penalty so this is what i need okay so i have copied all this so you can just keep this with you okay so the first step which we did is what we have created signed up in the open ai we have generated our api key and kept it the second step is what you have to go and just play around whether it is working fine get the model name get the uh, temperature max talk mock uh, top p frequency penalty presence penalty and everything <clears throat> okay so now we are going to uh, i'm going to explain you the code so this is the very first thing which i'm going to do it while programming okay so the first one which you wanted to do is what uh, we will be creating a code unit okay so while uh, writing the code we we need three important object one object is writing the code unit second object is we will be using a table in order to store the data and the third one is what we need a page in order to display and with in order to uh, get right like create a proper user interface so these three things we are going to create it now so let us see what i have written in the code unit so as usual whenever you type something in the page okay that message should be sent to the chat uh, code unit okay i need an api key and i will also need a message 
fine so this is the first uh, thing this is the procedure which i have written here and what is there in the procedure so in order to send the client that is in order to send a um, request and get the response so i have i need all these things to be written okay until this so in my previous videos like when i started uh, teaching about api so you can go and understand about what is uh, a client what is a response what is a request what is api and how we are getting all these request and re response in the previous message please watch that and here this is completely about getting a request and uh, sending the data getting a response back from the user and this json is very essential because we are going to uh, we are going to use the rest api and it is better to use your json okay so what what we are doing next is what this is the uh, parameters okay i have already discussed we need model okay what is a model uh, text davency so you we already saw right max token temperature topy frequency uh, frequency penalty and presence penalty okay so model is a text because i wanted to give it like text davency 003 so another than that everything are integer there you might have seen like zero point that is between zero to uh, between zero to one right zero to one so even it might be zero point nine eight or or even it may be zero point nine nine so what you can do is you can either initialize this as a decimal that is also good okay you can either initialize it as a decimal or else you can just go ahead with the integer okay if you are using an integer you have to give the whole number okay so i have uh, given all the essential variables declared all the essential variables so here i am de defining declaring the model so you can see the models here this is what the model name text davency 003 so i have given here text davency max token you can even increase it because there we have seen like we you can give up to 4000 you can even give up to 2000 okay temperature one okay and because since i have given their um, um integer so i am just giving frequency penalty 0 and presence penalty 1 and we have to send these parameter to the um, uh, when we access um i mean we access chat gpt so i am using an add uh, method from json and i am using all these me uh, all these parameters and this message is what the message which i am getting it from my uh, page okay i'll tell all these things and the other things are like uh, the general one request method should be a post method because we are sending we are posting our data i'll i'll discuss about get post request and everything and this is the url where it has to meet okay it has to connect with it and then uh, this is the authorization and bearer and i am just passing the api key this api key and the message will i'll be receiving it from the page okay and the next one is what the format json so these all the basic um, methods and everything content is what uh, uh, content is the http content which i have already discussed so uh, almost all these basic methods okay like these are all from the from the json so here you can see this is a http content so i'll be accessing the content here so content dot write from from where it has to write because we are accessing from the website okay so all these things you have to give these are all the basic properties over here okay and the client we have to send the request and we have to get the response back from the server so we have given here if there is no response from from the chat gpt then it has to send an error message so this is what the status code and this is the error message which we have to receive it so all these things which i have written in the procedure inside the code in it and the second one is what the it has to create a json for access refresh token so for that also you can see that we have written the complete uh, code and we have to insert the response back to the um, uh, interactions right so that is what the thing which i have written here and this is a page you can see here in the page i have make it made it as a list and here you can see i have passed the api key i have assigned the api key here okay and i am passing the api key and the message to send so this is what uh, like when you enter something here this is what the message to send okay whatever i entered here uh so that will be sent to the uh, that this parameter will be sent to the code unit so 
uh, I'll the, here you can see that API key and the message to send will be sent uh, to this particular code in it in this procedure. Okay, send message. So it will receive the API key and the message and it will process all these things. It will send the model prompt everything and it will get back to the page and it will display the data. So that is what written in this page okay and finally this is the um, table because i wanted to store the data in the table so that i can see what are all the interactions which ever happened uh, that will come here okay so that is what uh, okay so here you can see when i type something you know so when i type something you know like uh, what is um, probably table in business central so if i type something what is happening is what it is sending this message okay this message along with the api key to the um uh, to the um, code unit which we have created okay so that is what happening here uh, you can see so this here this interaction okay all the interactions which i wanted to store it so that is what the interactions you can see here all the interactions which are happening you can see okay and uh, um, the and you can see that this is the table which we have created for this for so we have to create three um, three objects for this in order to handle this so once it is created you can call this so this is how it works once if you execute you can see that this is happening so you can even click this in to in order to send a message to the chat gpt or else simply if you just press a tab it will work i hope you find something useful with this so we will also explore more like how we can use um, chat gpt inside business central what are the real scenarios where it will be useful for us leave your message if you have any queries thank you take care bye, -bye.